Grinding in Monster Hunter now is a completely different experience. Before, we could just sit at home and grind the same monster over and over again until we have the parts we need. But in this game, we are limited by which monsters are nearby, and the combat system is different. It's a totally different experience from what we're used to. This means that the armor skills we will need will also be different. Here are two armor skills you must have in your builds. The lock on armor skill allows you to target a certain part of a monster, telling your hunter which part to focus on attacking. This skill is important if you want to deal optimal damage by hitting a monster's weak spots. I've been using the longsword and I've gotta say, the lock on skill is so important for the helm breaker. Without lock on, your hunter will just slash at whatever's in front of him dealing less satisfying damage. And when we use the helm breaker, we want to see the yellow numbers flying. With lock on, even if the monster moves around, you will still hit the weak spot and deal high damage. Lock on becomes even more important if you plan on making a weakness exploit build later on, as this skill will require you to target specific weak spots on the monster to get the increased affinity. If you want to cut tails or break monster parts for more rewards, then lock on is a must-have skill. Without it, it's extremely difficult to deal consistent damage to a specific monster part enough to break it. If you're using hammer, then the lock on skill becomes a requirement. You won't be consistently hitting the head and knocking out monsters without it. Lock on is a skill that is so essential to have on your builds that I wonder why Niantic decided to lock this feature behind an armor skill. The thing I hate about the lock on skill though is that the targets you need to tap on are so small. Most of the time, I would end up fat fingering it and tap on the wrong part instead. Instead of targeting the head, it would target the forelegs or the hind legs. And when the monster moves around, these targets would tend to overlap each other. What's even worse is, if you targeted the wrong part, you would need to toggle the skill on and off again before you can retarget to another part, only to end up tapping on the wrong part again. That's another thing I hate about the lock on skill. It's the fact that you need to toggle it on at the start of every hunt. I'm equipping an armor piece that has the lock on skill for a reason. It means I want to use this feature. I shouldn't have to toggle it on at the start of every hunt. You feel me? If you so happen to tap and miss all the small targets on your screen, your hunter will unintentionally attack the monster. Sometimes he will even get hit by the monster before you can even dodge. Not to mention that if you faint during a hunt and use a potion to revive yourself, the lock on skill will reset and you have to toggle it on and select the part all over again. I have taken more damage than I would have liked just because I could not tap on the part that I wanted. That's why having Divine Blessing is a must-have in this game. In Monster Hunter Now, your grind is not only limited by the monsters around you, but it is also limited by your HP. You can't hunt large monsters if your health bar is glowing red. Divine Blessing can help you preserve your HP by lessening the damage you take by 50%. That's huge. This skill has saved my life countless of times, and because of the reduced damage, my HP stays well above 30% and I can continue to farm for more monster materials. I can go on more hunts before needing to use a first aid med. And because healing items are so limited in Monster Hunter now, Divine Blessing becomes a must-have skill. This skill is essential if you plan on hunting all day with your friends out in the park and you want to use as little potions as possible. These two skills are a must-have if you want to have a better grinding experience in Monster Hunter now. With this in mind, let me know in the comment section below what kind of builds you guys are running with right now. If you found this video helpful, leave a like to support the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more Monster Hunter Now content. But that's it for now. 
Thanks for watching.